Usually I'd have some kind of intro that goes before the shifty intro, I guess, if you want to call it that. But I'm not going to have one this time. I just want to get straight into it since tomorrow we're going to be seeing a Super Smash Brothers centered direct. And I have no fucking script for this. This is literally just going to be me talking off the top of my head about what I'm excited to see, what I'm hoping to see, you know, that kind of thing. And... What I'm hoping for is a couple of things. I mean, my mindset has changed a little bit here and there after seeing Ultimate. And maybe, you know, seeing, kind of getting an understanding of everything. You know, no one's opinions really stay exactly the same at all times. You know, we all change in how we see certain things. So, and I think that makes sense. Maybe not to you guys, but to me it does. I think everyone changes, right? So, I've made a video before talking about what I would like to see out of Smash, but... Now that I know a Nintendo Direct is happening tomorrow, what are my hopes and what are my expectations? Now, my expectations, uh, normally when it comes to Nintendo Directs, I like to keep them pretty low. Because I don't want to go into it hoping for the world and just getting something very small. So I don't, you know, tend to uh, ask for a lot. Uh, when it comes to this Direct in particular, what I want isn't much. Uh, but... It, it can be considered much depending on who you talk to, I suppose. But what I'm expecting, I'm expecting at least one character reveal. I think it would be extremely unlikely for Smash to have a direct without announcing at least one character. So my expectations is at least one newcomer will be shown off. And that's my low expectation. Uh, anything past that I'm expecting to see maybe at least one or two modes you know Smash for Wii U had uh, I believe it was called Smash Tour and Smash on 3DS had Smash Run and when it came to that I think uh, the 3DS got the better mode even though if it wasn't perfect so I'm thinking maybe we'll see a new mode uh, that's exclusive to this version of Smash that you know we're, we're just gonna see but uh, along with the other modes that are um, you know a staple to the series like events and Maybe some kind of adventure mode, but we know we're going to see classic mode for a fact, but adventure mode is something that I want to talk about for a bit too, because I'm not, like, okay, so I enjoyed Melee's adventure mode, I think it was good, but it was too small for me. Uh, the subspace emissary in Brawl, I've talked about it before on this channel before, but uh, basically when it comes to that, I generally really liked it, I know some people felt that it dragged on for too long, and... I would agree when it came to the Great Maze uh, section of the game, but everything else, I didn't really mind it. I had no problems playing through it. It felt like regular adventure mode levels, but with cutscenes in between them to kind of, you know, give you context as to why you're here in the first place, which is cool. Mind you, Sep Space Emissary isn't perfect. It could have uh, been a little less generic with the enemy types. It could have just went to more, you know, well-known locations in the Nintendo universe, but, you know, that's what we got. And I think it's a step up, but seeing Smash 4 not have that at all, it's kind of a bummer. I don't expect anything like that, but it'd be cool, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but I'm expecting some kind of new mode, I'm expecting at least one new character. I'm expecting something that we are not expecting, if that makes sense. I'm not sure if that makes any sense, because that could kind of mean a lot of things. But it's very... Um, often that we'll see some kind of new feature that we never thought we would want before or something that we never thought they would actually do like smash 4 had custom moves they had the me thing and they had um you know, mega stages as well and you know all those things we never really thought was going to be a thing in smash before until it actually happened so while those modes or those features are kind of, they kind of vary between people to person to person as to whether or not they are good modes um, I'm expecting something like that, sort of, like a sort of, like, random left field feature that Smash Ultimate will have that we didn't exactly see coming when it comes to the rest of, uh, the game. Um, but let's move on to what I want to see. Now, clearly these are going to be things that I don't think are guaranteed by any capacity, but I'd like to see in the game regardless. So, what is that? When it comes to the things that I want to see, obviously, like everyone else, I have characters I want to see, and I've talked about them ad nauseum, like I've talked about them a lot on this channel, but um, to give you a quick rundown, basically just Isaac from Golden Sun, uh, Simon Belmont from Castlevania, and Travis Touchdown from No More Heroes, but if I don't want to be like as specific and I want to be more general, 
then I think it's best that maybe I uh, kind of just give a rundown of like what I think will happen in the direct as a whole. So instead of saying I want these specific characters, I want to be able to say there's going to be two character reveals. Because we've seen a few times, I, I think uh, Corin and Bayonetta fit this actually, where we had a situation where the direct started with a character announcement and that was the first thing we saw and usually the f the character announcement that comes first in the direct is the one that is already a nintendo character and maybe it's not as surprising or what nintendo would think is not as surprising and then they'll have a character that they show at that very end or near the end and that's the character they usually expect people to lose their minds over i believe cloud was a character like that and Bayonetta was as well but although Bayonetta had like the whole smash ballot thing behind it so it wasn't exactly the end of the direct but the point being is that sometimes there have been moments there have been directs where we'll start a direct with one character in the very beginning and then they'll end it with another and the second one is usually some kind of third party character or maybe some kind of fan requested character like Ridley and you know something along those lines so I'm hoping for something like that. I expect at least one character as a whole, just generally speaking, but what I want to see is two characters done in that same style. That way we get to see more newcomers and we have more to talk about and maybe, you know, get the hype up there. And I'll be excited. I mean, why the fuck not? I want to see more characters in, a, in my favorite fighting franchise of all time. So yeah, definitely I want to see two new characters. Um, I also generally want to see a lot of uh, stages. I know a lot of people don't really care too much about stages because they're just going to stick to the very like tournament legal ones, the very competitive crowd. Um, I I kind of do that too to an extent, but at the same time I do want to see new stages as a whole. Um, but not to like a ridiculous extent, I just kind of want to see like the certain franchises that haven't been represented before be fully represented or I want to see brand new stages. The only brand new stages we've seen in Ultimate so far was Moray Towers from Splatoon and Breath of the Wild's Great Plateau Tower, which are both great stages. I've played both of them when I was at uh, in LA during E3, and they were both fun. Uh, I prefer the Breath of the Wild stage a lot more, but that's kind of it. Um, but there's only really one more thing I want from Smash Ultimate that I can uh, really say for sure that I want that I've said before. And that's a mode similar to Subspace Emissary. I've, I've mentioned that before in this uh, very video, but basically, uh, I've wanted a Subspace Emissary back for a long time, and when I heard Smash 4 wasn't getting it, I was pretty disappointed, to say the least. I don't, and hell, they, it doesn't need to be called Subspace Emissaries. I'm pretty sure that was just a name for the story, necessarily the mode itself, as it was just an adventure mode, just a really in-depth one. So I want to see that in general. I want to see a whole new adventure mode with a story and everything i mean really think about this like how the fuck would a story work i mean it, it, you can't expect like some amazing you know top of the line story from a game that has solid snake and pikachu in it or bayonetta and i don't know fucking splatoon kids inklings in there like it's impossible i, I feel like it's almost completely unlikely completely impossible to make some high quality story without coming off as pretty cheesy or cliche in some aspects but regardless of how they would do it i want to see it because i want to see the characters interacting more than anything else i don't really care if the story itself is written poorly and hell if the gameplay itself is just you know, an adventure mode and nothing else, then I'm cool with that too, because I liked adventure mode to begin with. Just give me the cutscenes of the characters interacting. I will never be able to see this anywhere else. So give us that. Hell, the only thing you really have to improve was the enemy types you saw in Subspace Emissary. Some of them were pretty generic, and some of the locations you went to just wasn't that interesting because they were just made up stuff. We want to see the Nintendo universes collide. I want to go to the Mushroom Kingdom. I want to go to Hyrule. Hell, what? let's go to Shadow Moses. Let's go to Shadow Moses. Maybe Shadow Moses is, is being invaded by the, the, the Koopa army of Bowser's army or something, or, or Hyrule is being invaded by a Metal Gear. Like, Let's go crazy with it. Let's see what we can do. Let's make a completely ridiculous story mode, even if it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I don't care if it does. I just want to see the characters interact in these worlds that would normally never be together fully interact. But 
that's pretty much all I have. Um, I don't want to keep you guys here for too long, and I also have other videos that I'm working on, and with this whole Smash Brothers Direct thing happening tomorrow, I, I, I couldn't really wait to talk about this. So, yeah, here it is. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know, do all the things YouTube loves, you know, likes and subscribes and all that shit. I said subscribe. <laughs> You get what I'm trying to say. Subscribe to the channel if you liked it as a whole. And if you don't, leave a dislike because that's how it should be, basically. Uh, but yeah, leave a comment down below what you want to see in the direct and take care. See you guys in the next video.